Let me be clear, the phone we're diving into today, the Samsung Galaxy A54 5G launched in 2023. With the newer A55 on the horizon, you might be wondering, is the A54 still worth buying in 2024? That's a valid question, especially for you budget-minded tech enthusiasts. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the A54 5G. Is it still the best value in Samsung's A-series? We'll find out, ditching the tech jargon and focusing on what matters to you. Buckle up, hit that subscribe button and let's crack open the box and see what Samsung has packed in. We're greeted by a clean and simple white package. Inside it's classic Samsung. We've got the usual suspects, a cardboard box, semi ejector, USB-C cable and some paperwork. But wait a minute peel off that plastic and BAM! Instant premium vibes. Forget about those cheap plastic phones, this one feels as luxurious as an iPhone. We're talking a glass back and a cool to the touch frame. Color choices. We got the classic white that some might find minimalist, even boring, but others might consider a head turner. The camera compartment is a classic Samsung triple lens with a familiar feel like the S24. Not flashy, but reliable and predictable. Cleaner look than older models with S23, S24 quality, but glass back and slightly protruding cameras. Buttons are on the right, Type C and the speaker below. Left side is clean and the top houses an infrared blaster and a dual SIM with expandable storage. Double SIM functionality is great for both local and international use and expandable storage via SD card which is up to 1TB is a bonus. So while the design might not be the most cutting edge compared to the newer releases, it still holds up well aesthetically and feels solid in hand. Setting it up is a breeze, just like any other Android phone. Google account, apps, settings, you'll be good to go in about 10 to 15 minutes. Plus you can easily transfer stuff from your old phone, saving you time and hassle. Now let's dive deeper into what the A54 has to offer. Pick up the A54 and wow, that display is gorgeous. It's a big 6.4 inch Super AMOLED screen with a super rich colors and it's get very bright, even outside on a sunny day. Seriously, 1000 nits is crazy. Plus, it refreshes very smoothly at 120 Hz, which makes scrolling and gaming feel very fluid. The bezels are slim around the edges, so the phone feels really sleek. And the Gorilla Glass 5 means you don't have to worry about babying it. Unlocking with your fingerprint or face is easy and relatively fast too, which is always a plus. The phone's display isn't the only impressive feature. The dual speakers with Dolby Atmos actually are pretty good for the phone this price. Bass is deeper than you would expect, making videos, music and games way more enjoyable. It goes toe to toe with some pricier phones in the sound department, which is pretty cool. For everyday tasks like browsing, social media and emails, the A54 holds its own. However, it's important to acknowledge that the Exynos 1380 processor can struggle with demanding applications and multitasking. The app launch times might be slightly sluggish and power users might find overall experience lacking in responsiveness. While competitors offer faster processors and more advanced storage options for similar prices, the A54 still remains a compelling option for a budget conscious user looking for a reliable phone. The phone rocks a 50 megapixels main sensor with a good optical image stabilization. And yeah, in a good lighting, the 50 megapixels definitely pulls its weight. Photos are detailed as heck. But low light, not as great. You start to see details get lost, colors get weird, and overall quality takes a nosedive. The ultrawide lens, not as good as compared to the main sensor. It's 12 megapixels, which is fine. And while it's not terrible for close-up shots, it definitely falls short. The 5 megapixels macro camera, honestly, who even uses those anymore? The quality is just subpar, it's basically a gimmick. Skip it. Digital zoom is okay up to 3 times, but push it any further and things get blurry real quick. Details just disappearing. I wouldn't bother zooming too much on this phone. Trust me, sometimes getting closer to the object is the way to go. The selfie camera is also pretty good. You get sharp, crisp selfies with a decent portrait mode. Nothing groundbreaking, but it gets the job done. Plus, there's a bunch of fun modes in the app to play around with. 
AR thingy that swaps your face with the cartoon characters. That's actually pretty cool, gotta give them props for that. Video recording, the phone can crank it up to 2K at 30fps with the usual 1080p options and even some crazy 240fps slow motion. The image stabilization keeps things smooth too, so you can shoot decent everyday videos that rival even some flagships. Don't expect mind-blowing videography, but for casual use it holds its own. While it might not be the absolute best out there, the gap to flagships like iPhone 15 Pro is definitely smaller than in previous generations. The phone comes loaded with One UI 5.1 on top of Android 13. This translates to a pretty smooth experience overall, even though it's rocking the Exynos 1380 processor and as I mentioned earlier, it's not the fastest chip. And there can be occasional sluggishness and it's not gonna blow your mind with performance. Samsung crushes the competition with 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security patches, so your A54 will stay future-proof for years. For example, Google Pixel 7a only gets 3, so big win for Samsung. The phone's Antutu score puts it squarely in the mid-range territory, lagging behind beasts like the ROG Phone 8 or Galaxy S24 Ultra. But hey, benchmarks are just numbers, right? But let's ditch the charts and see how the A54 handles the real-world gaming. Buckle up, because things might get a little sweaty. Asphalt Night Legends runs like a butter on max settings, a smooth 60fps with gorgeous visuals. Casual gaming on this phone is a breeze. Call of Duty Mobile, you can get smooth gameplay on medium graphics and a solid 90fps, no complaints. Obviously, don't expect to compete with a monster like ROG Phone 8, but for casual gamers, this is plenty. Genshin Impact, the real test. Here, things get a bit trickier. You can get smooth gameplay on medium graphics at 30 FPS, but expect occasional frame drops if you push it too hard. Still, for casual play, it holds its own. Looking to crush Candy Crush or Subway Surfers? The phone could probably run 10 of those at the same time. No sweat, casual gaming absolutely nailed it. So the A54 might not be a top tier gaming phone, but it strikes a sweet spot between performance and affordability. You can enjoy your favorite games without spending a fortune. Connectivity covered. The phone has all the latest 5G tech, so you'll get super fast and reliable internet pretty much everywhere. Calls are crystal clear, so no complaints there. Wi-Fi 6 keeps you on the cutting edge for everyday use and the Bluetooth 5.3 and NFC round out the package. Basically, this mid-ranger is well connected. Battery life. It packs a massive 5000mAh battery, which translates to a whopping 2-3 to three days of casual use thanks to the efficient processor. Charging is not bad either. 25 watts wired gets you back to 100% in around 1.5 hours, which is faster than most competitors. However, no wireless charging. Alright, let's talk real talk. Is the A54 still a good buy in 2024? You bet, here's why. The phone delivers flagship level features without the flagship price tag. Beautiful display, feels solid in hand and that 5000mAh battery is a beast. But the real kicker, the software support. 4 years of OS updates and 5 years of security patches. That's future proof value you won't find everywhere, especially at this price. All for a tempting tag under $400 US, plus with the a55 on the horizon, you might even snag this one for an even steeper discount soon. Keep an eye on those price drops. I will link to some retailers in the description below. So is the A54 a good buy in 2024? The answer is yes. If you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I'll be dropping more tech goodness your way real soon. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.